Howdy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about canyoneering descenders. So there are all kinds of canyoneering descenders out on the market. All of them make good products. Uh, I only have a few today that we're going to be talking about, but the principles can really be applied to all of them. A lot of it, which one you pick, comes down to personal preference. There are some features of some that I'll talk about today that you may like better than others, but uh, a lot of it really is just practice, experience, and what you like. Now, I'm going to start out with a really, it's not really a canyon descender. You can use it as a canyon descender. I don't recommend it um, in canyons other than pretty short repels and dry repels, um, and probably not on tiny eight millimeter rope. So this is the first one. You've probably seen this if you've done any rock climbing. This is an ATC or air traffic controller. It's made by Black Diamond. These things are all over the place. It's a great belay device. Uh, you can use it to repel, definitely, but it doesn't give you a lot of control. They make these with teeth as well. The, the, there's a newer model that has teeth on it that gives you a little bit more control. Um, still, probably not enough control for doing big 200 foot drops, wet drops, a lot of the canyoneering stuff. So. Uh, stick this on your rock climbing gear uh, probably not ideal for canyoneering <clears throat> the next one is specifically designed for canyoneering it's made by petzl it's called the piranha you can see that right on there piranha so the piranha looks like a piranha it's gonna come bite you um, it is dedicated to canyoneering it's based on the figure eight design. Uh, the way this works is it's just kind of like a figure eight. This slides down and it keeps your descender hooked to your belay carabiner. So this is pretty tight right here coming through, but that's a good thing. Okay. So now what you see is, this is clipped on, there's still a little bit of wiggle room, but if I open this up, there's no way I'm gonna lose my descender. And that's great because when you get to a bottom of a canyoneering drop, it's a class C and you're in the water, flowing water, you wanna be able to take your rope out of this and not worry about losing your descender. It's not gonna come off. You can pull your rope out real quick um, when you're in flowing water and that's why it's designed that way so it's tight specific to canyoneering let me get a rope here um the way this works is the rope just goes right through the back just like that okay and so then you've got a brake strand here and what you can do, and I've got it backwards, this will be my brake strand. Um, you've got these hooks here, these teeth, the piranha, te the mouth and the tail. Um, when you're descending, you can take your rope and run it around here for added friction while you're descending. So <coughs> that will let you add friction. Um, you can lock off the device by running it around the back and that way you can go hands-free I mean technically it's not a hands-free device they, they don't market it that way but you can lock it off and go hands-free when you're on rappel um, great device for canyoneering this isn't the one I use um, I have used it before it's not my preferred descender but like I said it's all personal preference the next one is actually the one I use and this one you can see it's got some wear marks on it. This one's called the ATS. This is made by Sterling. ATS stands for All-Terrain Sender. And this thing has all kinds of features on it. You can see the profile here is curved. So it's got two modes. If I clip it in face up, so the curved side up like this, and then into the carabiner, this creates more friction on the rope. If I flip it around this way, there's less friction on the rope. So low friction mode, higher friction mode, but then I've got these horns, these are called power horns, and I can do some wraps on these. It's left-handed or right-handed here. Um, I can wrap off 
and add friction while I'm descending. It's really fast and really easy. And then also, let me clip this in here so I can show you. This one also is a tight fit so you don't lose it. Um, this one comes with a few other features. You can drop a leg of the rope down behind there and that adds friction. This one has all kinds of uh, friction settings. I don't really have to use all of them unless I've got a big heavy pack and I'm doing a big drop. <coughs> I'm not a heavy guy. So, but this has a lot of features and you can see it's also got this placket section for belaying. You can use this for climbing, belaying when you're doing that. Um, you can set it up in many different ways. I'm not gonna show you all the ways to set it up, but for canyoneering, this is what we're gonna use. So, <coughs> Really, it comes down to what you like, what you have access to. There's probably six or seven other models similar to these uh, based on the figure eight, or there's uh, some others that are a little different. Squirrel, the totem, the joker, there's, there's just a bunch of them. Um, so those are belay devices. Those are the ones I'm gonna talk about today uh, for canyoneering. And I'm gonna rig one of these up and show you in action how it works. So those are our descenders. We've got the Piranha, ATC, ATS, they're all good. Um, this one's not so good for canyoneering. It's good for what it's designed for, which is climbing and repelling on climbs. Um, but these two are great for canyons, wet canyons, dry canyons, whatever, <coughs> great material. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is show you the one of these in action. I'm gonna rig up this descender and show you how it actually functions. So let's get to it. Okay, so you see I'm tied up against here. I've got the rope on low friction mode, but the plate is on a higher friction mode. So I can go even lower friction than this if I want. I've gone through all my checks. I'm on the right strand and I'm on repel. Or with this ATS, if I wanted to add some more friction, which I don't, I could simply by going over just like that. Now that's pretty much locked. 